This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Thank you EA for giving me this opportunity and I hope you will enjoy the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Tam and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today we are continuing with The Sims 4 uh, Seasons Review slash Overview and today we are going to take a look at the build and buy portion. If you're wondering why we are on the screen, it's because this is the new screen and I just got out of the create a sim portion so I'm gonna, I want to showcase to this. But before I do that, you probably see that in the first 5 seconds of the video but uh, this video has been uh, provided to you by EA. EA Game Changers and it was made possible by EA Game Changers. Uh, I received an early copy from EA uh, itself and thank you, thank you, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. I really appreciate it and I uh, am really grateful for the opportunity to, to be an EA Game Changer in general. So uh, let me start with this screen. So when you're starting a new uh, new game for yourself, you can pick in which season are you going to play in. Spring, summer, fall or winter. So for spring it says, Spring is a great time to plant your garden to take advantage of spring showers, but watch out for those mud puddles. Summer, temperatures are climbing, so beat the heat with water balloons and sprinklers. Watch out for the thunderstorms, they can be electrifying. Fall, gather your garden produce to make harvest fest feasts to celebrate with friends and family. Enjoy the changing leaves and leaf piles before things get chilly. And winter, when you're not bundled up indoors, have some fun in the snow or on ice. Don't forget to decorate for winter fest and plan your new year's resolutions. We're gonna start with spring you guys and the reason why I picked spring, oh look at this, it's the animation. As for the sun you get bees, for fall leaves are falling and for winter you get snowflakes. But we're gonna go with spring because I think that the, uh, the town is going to look the most normal and I need an empty lot empty spot literally and how am I how we're gonna do this mm. <clears throat> let's get this one and I'm just gonna showcase everything that you can see in build and buy portion we're gonna go with build first and then buy uh, when I uh, fill in the um, the area I'm going to delete everything and start again so we're going to showcase every single thing and it's cloudy outside Yay! Not what I wanted. And look at the... This is spring, you guys. I should have picked summer. Nevertheless, uh, we're going to hop into build and buy. Uh, I am going to try to make this a little bit afternoonish, maybe. So we can have everything normal. And also, everything is going to be filtered through seasons. Like I said. Let's start with build and pre-made rooms first. So this is the first room that we got. Oh, also one more thing, just a sec. Mother load. Oh, sorry. Awesome. Uh, this is the first room, it is the bathroom. And I love this color scheme. I'm gonna place it over here so you guys can check it out. So I'm not going to showcase every single object right now. We're gonna just uh, put the rooms in and then I'm gonna go through the objects. This is the second room. It is the floral canopy bedroom, if I'm not mistaken. So let me place that one. It's look, it looks super cute. Look at this. It's, a, it's adorable. Then we have, what is this? Holiday heart. So this is for the winter fast, I'm guessing. Yes, it is. You have a Christmas tree, you have gifts. You have decorations around it, super adorable. Then we have asymmetrical symmetry. This is, oh my god, I love the carpet already. I adore the carpet, to be honest. I cannot wait to showcase that. Sorry, that was my phone. I don't know if you heard that. Let me just switch off the sound uh, because it's going to ring non-stop. Actually, I switched off the wrong thing. There you are. All right. So, I love the carpet and I cannot wait to showcase it later on. Studying cool. This is like a study type of room. Let's get this one. 
it's very interesting and I'm actually hoping that we're going to get a new computer so we'll see this is the uh, lazy launderer's deck this is the patio that you can put uh, on the outside of your house I bought the pink one and this little pool over here this is a toddler's pool and I cannot wait to use it and I love the umbrella I love everything that you can see right here cannot wait then we have the gardening heaven this is the new garden um, I'm going to place it right here so you guys can see it. We have a scarecrow, we have a beehive, we have a floral station, and I think that this is just a decoration. Yeah, willing in the garden. Uh, very interesting. We have sprinklers, bunch of different things. I am in love. Seasonal entryway, this is just like a hallway, but the, the point of this hallway is to showcase the umbrella rack, I'm guessing, and the uh, different decorations that we got. Very cool. And then we have a flower bed shed. Uh, you can use this to create flowers. So simply something that you can add to your house to create uh, beautiful flower arrangements. And for every season, um, I don't know exactly what this is, but it looks like a garden, but indoors, if I'm not mistaken indoors garden so those are all of the pre-made rooms now i am going to bulldoze lot simply because it's easier like that and we're gonna start with the wallpapers let me just do it like this all right as for the wallpapers uh, we got three new this is the first one the the stone one then we got the wooden one and the combination of the stone and wooden one also we got a new foundation that i'm going to put it like here uh it is the stone one it looks very very cool as for the doors we got uh these doors we got these doors these doors and these doors i'm guessing that there are different sizes no this is the only size, sorry. And a bunch of different coloring, as you can see. The color scheme is, stays relatively the same, and why am I keep picking the same color? Okay, like that. It's very interesting, and I personally like it. I see myself using this. The windows are the same with the same color scheme. A um, bunch of different sizes, as you can see. Uh, I need to put this somewhere, like here maybe. This one and this one very cute very interesting and definitely i see myself using that one as for the decorations we have this that i personally do not uh, get ever i i don't understand it but i am gonna try to use it then we got this decoration which is like a vase on a wood with the flowers in it then we got surface succulents and I, I am in love with this one. Look at this. This is adorable. I would like to have this in my own home. And we got like the... Mm, a little roof type of terrace thingy. It's very nice. It's very interesting. We got one chimney. I'm gonna place it right here. Um, yeah, I, if you are uh, aware we got glass roofs that I cannot showcase right now because I do not have a full room but let me try I'm gonna do it like that and uh, we are going to switch to roofs take out the seasons uh, just put the regular roof on I'm guessing let me try this I'm not sure and we got a glass roof you guys look at this it's a typical glass roof. You have a bunch of different colors, not colors, but the designs. You have the the boxed one, uh, the squared one, uh, the honeycomb one, the clear one, which is personally personally my favorite. And this is also an amazing one. It looks like something from a gothic style and a rhomboid one. Uh, very very adorable. So now I'm going to. Mm delete this thank you and we can move on so as for the support beams we got a couple of support beams but i don't know how to use them uh, as you can see this is the support beam uh, but i don't see myself using this because i am not a builder but i am guessing that builders are going to love this one uh, let me just filter this again through seasons because it's easier for me this is one support beam and we got one pole which goes with everything that we got maybe i can put a support beam on it uh, no i cannot maybe my my bad 
As for the fences, we got one fence. It goes like this. Uh, it has one gate. I personally love it. As for the stairs, we got two different ones. We got the, these ones that uh, goes with everything that we saw and the matching railing. And also we got the... I'm guessing that these are the wooden type of stairs. Uh, they're really nice and uh, they're more for the outside than for the inside in my personal opinion. As for the pool, uh, I don't see that... No, we did not got anything new. For the plants, we did not got anything new. But now we are going to switch to the um, build portion. Uh, sorry, buy portion. I'm going to delete... Uh, not like that. Like this. I'm going to delete these. And I'm going to build another wall. The reason for the wall is paintings. So I'm going to build this like it. And also I'm going to lower the foundation. Because it's easier for me to showcase everything. Now we're gonna go through show all. As you can see we got a bunch of items. And it's easier for me to go through show all. We got the single bed. Uh, with uh, baldachin on it. I'm guessing that that is the correct term, but I'm not completely sure. A bunch of different color schemes. And the color scheme matches everything that we saw so far, and I personally love it. Then we got this bed, uh, which is my favorite one. Look at this. Look how adorable that is. I am in love, especially the three pillows in the back. Super, super, super impressed. Then we got this bed. Again, two pillows in the back and the throw over it. We never seen anything like this in The Sims 4. My favorite, favorite, favorite thing. Then we got this chair for the living room or for your entryway. I am going to showcase a couple of colors, as you can see. Then we got the chair that you can put in your living room. Uh, again, the color scheme stays relatively the same. I'm just showcasing a couple of different uh, colors. Uh, so I'm not showing you everything, but you can see what am I talking about. Then we got the wicked... Um, the, is the wicked? Wicker, sorry. Rigid wicker roost chair. Uh, not my favorite thing in the world. But uh, maybe for the outside. It's... I don't know. I'm not impressed with that one. Then we got the timber chair. Uh, again, not my favorite thing in the world. I've seen better kitchen uh, items. So uh, I don't know if I, if I will use this. Maybe at some point. But uh, we'll see. Then for the living room, we got this sofa. This sofa. Then we have the corner thing that I am personally a very, very, very big fan of. They started doing this with the... Um, I'm thinking kid stuff, I'm thinking, but I'm not completely sure, but I love it. The color scheme is the same as everything I showed you before. I'm in love with this, I love it. The timber table, it goes with these chairs. Let me say something. The table I like, the chairs I do not like. So I'm guessing that I will uh, use this table with something else, but we'll see. The one table, I'm guessing the holiday one. The timber hall table. I am in love with this one. You can use it for uh, putting plants on, decorations on, things like that. I love it. The Budding Blossom, this is for your um, uh, bedroom. Then we have the Timber Block. Mm -hmm. Maybe if it's really something like a hippie bedroom, maybe. We'll see. Again, Quirky Coffee Table. Oh my god. The quirky coffee table. I love these coffee tables and as well the timber one. I love these two. I think that they look very interesting. The color scheme is amazing. And especially with this one. Look at this, you guys. You can have a purple table. Who has a lilac? Lilac, sorry. Yeah. Who has a lilac table? Amazing. I love it. Then I'm guessing that this is a table. And it looks like something a lawyer would have. And I love it. The clothing rack you can put in your uh, in your entry way. Uh, the timber buffet you can put this in your kitchen. You can see the plates behind. I love it. And now uh, a little something for the bathroom. This is the sink. This is the toilet. This is the shower portion, which I personally really love. Look at the shower head. So cool. 
amazing. Uh, I love this tub, especially the bottom portion of the tub. I never seen something like this and I want this in my life. I want this in my future bathroom. Trust me when I say that. Scouting badge board. This is the new um, interactable object that we got for teens and children's careers. Cannot wait to use it. I think it's going to be amazing. You can recolor the frame. The violets uh, are blue flower arranging table. This is for your flower arranging. Piles of present. I don't know if this is actually usable, but we have a couple of uh, piles of present. And this are these are actually decorations that you can use for uh, putting up your decorations. Another pile of presents, uh, then we have the thermostat. When you put the thermostat in your house, you can actually adjust your temperature, temperature inside the house. Water balloon bucket, you can have water balloon fights. Uh, deluxe ice ring, uh, I think I can put one just to show you. We have the ice ring and roller rink. You can roller skate and ice skate on these, and these are going to show up in your world. This looks like something, uh, the hockey ring. If you know what hockey is, that is it. And the roller skating one, I personally love them, and yeah, I cannot wait to use them. We got a bunch of different designs, as you can see. The rustic one, it's very interesting. Uh, the bigger ones that I cannot place because my lot is too small. Uh, so I'm just gonna do it like that. Then we have Dr. June's weather control device. You can switch your weather, but only if you have enough of the... What's the, what's the name of it? If you have um, good handiness and you uh, fix the machine properly. So those are those. And then we got the food stalls that are... That you can place on the outside or in your uh, parks. You can buy coffee, lemonade, cupcakes, and apple cider, if I'm not mistaken, but uh, these are taking way too much space, so I'm gonna remove them. Then we got a sprinkle matic Patchy the Strawman is the new interactable um, sim. I'm gonna call him a sim. Uh, you can put him in your garden, and he is going to uh, stand up, and around noon, uh, water all your plants. Also, you can have a perfect relationship with Patchy, and he's going to give you some seeds, I'm thinking. Then we got the pool for the kitties. This is the koi pond. This looks like a koi pond, but you can switch it uh, to different color scheme. As you can see, it can be pink, it can be red, it can be blue with a Nemo fish on it. Super cute. Then we have a beehive and... Oh my god, look at this! It's the uh, swing. Then also we have the uh, pool with a little palms on it. Then we have... I'm guessing that this is leaves. Yeah, simple leaves. I don't know what this is. Uh, jolly garlands. You can. I think that you can put this on your table. Yeah, you can. You can put this on your table as a decoration. So, like that. And we have spring is in the air flower arrangement. Then we have winter wreath and the spring springs. Uh, Titanic terrarium. I don't know what this is, but it is amazing. I love it. We have planted planter. We have uh, my favorite thing in the world, the wall with succulents. Uh, tiered to simplicity with uh, a little succulent on it. Amazing. Pumpkin trio. Uh, for the decoration, you have uh, your Christmas tree and Stroke of Midnight Christmas tree. I love both of them. Uh, freezer styled festivities. I'm guessing that this is something for the wall, like I said. Uh, decoloration. I don't know. Um, webby spider home. Uh, we already got something like this with uh, the vampire uh, stuff pack, game pack, sorry. But you cannot have. Uh, uh, way too many spider webs. Then we got uh, this mirror, uh, these curtains. They are so adorable. I personally love them and I definitely see myself using them, although I did overlap them. <laughs> uh, I put the two of the same kind, my bad. Sorry. So those. Then we got farmed uh, framed garland that you can put as festivity. Festivity. Then we have festive door curtains um, to put around your door. Then we have plastic pumpkin in the garden. Crack the crotchery. Uh, what? 
crotch tea nutcracker totally real uh, reindeers uh, that you can put up in the winter it's super adorable then we got a nutcracker prince if you don't know about the fairy tale the nutcracker that is that uh, lantern post uh, I'm guessing that you can put one and then if you put next uh, then something can hang in the middle middle I don't know how but we'll figure it out the real square shady umbrella my favorite thing in the world I uh, this is going to be one of the main um, things in my gardens since now <laughs> then we have the rustic re uh, seasonal signage a lump of coal um, assorted holiday car display. This is for the uh, the winter. Uh, no, no, not winter. Well, Valentine's Day. Sorry, I cannot talk anymore. Horn of Plenty. Uh, then we have Spires of Whimsy. The rabbit's hat. Adorable. Then we have the umbrella rack. If you have the umbrella rack in your home, you can uh, switch the umbrella color. If you do not have it, your umbrella is going to be plain black. Then we got Scott Summer's fun basket. Oh, sorry. Then we have All Seasons Welcome doormat. A little bit of a bigger rug. Uh, a little bit of a, a bigger rug. And my favorite thing in the world. The multidimensional, um, different colored and uh, different shaped rug. I love it. Then we have a fireplace that I cannot place anywhere. Maybe in the back. Let's see. Oh, I can place it here. Uh, we have the fireplace that you can recolor in three different colors so you can switch uh, this is for the winter mainly but I love it and also for this rug look at this you can have a bunch of different prints even a zebra print I am super impressed I love it then we have the wallflower bouquet that you can place on the wall um, put up tissue paper garland this is like a decoration and also this is a decoration that I can place right here then we have, what is this, a uh, fall twi twined twig, a party wallflower, uh, all weather summer spindle, I don't know, it's very interesting, inclusive party banner, I'm gonna actually turn and try to place it around some, around this, like here maybe, uh, then we have this one, uh, this one, these are all wall decorations that you can place for your holidays and I'm guessing uh, decorate your house with it uh, when you do the interaction decorate the house. Then we got towels for the bathroom. The um, design is amazing. I personally love it. Then we have the um, towel rack for the bathroom. You can never have too many bathroom designs, decorations. I personally love it. What is this? Oh boy. Why can't I place this? Must be placed in a room. Hmm. Festive ce oh, ceiling garland. So you can place this on your ceiling so it's going to drop from the ceiling. I cannot showcase this now. Suspended stars, the same thing. And lantern of inside, the same thing. Also, we got the kids activity table for this the season. Uh, so kids are really showered with love in the recent couple of... Um, packs i'm super impressed with that happy holiday lantern uh, another lantern um candlelight fall festival you can place this on your table it's basically the same leaves uh that you got um before but with two candles then we have a menorah seven principal what is this uh kinara did i say this right yeah menorah and kinara uh table lamp pine fresh candles uh, Globe Man, Globe Man, whatever. Glow Man, sorry. Oops. Uh, floor Lamp, which is personally amazing. Illuminating Tombs. Hmm. This is kind of strange. Uh, we got this. We got this already, but you can never have too many spooky decorations. Um, then what is this? Ceiling Lamp that I cannot place anywhere because I do not have a ceiling. Uh, another Chandelier. Uh, lumbering wall light. Uh, I don't know if I have a place for it. There you are. Lumbering wall light. Then uh, this little thing. Uh, these are just lights. And this is the thing that you can place on this. Look at this. You can literally connect it with one another. Which I love. Let me try to turn like... Whoops. 
this uh, and see if I can connect it. No, maybe with you? Hmm. I cannot intersect with it. I'm intersecting with something, but uh, you can definitely do it um, through the cheats. So we have this. We have a new mailbox, a new bookshelf. Personally, love it. New dresser. Uh, another new dresser because we got two beds. You can now buy seeds from uh, your build and buy mode. Uh, seasonal summer plants, fall plants, spring plants, and winter plants. Amazing. I already showcased all of these. What is this? Gold scouting trophy uh, Trophy for uh, reaching level 5 of the scouting career, for reaching, reaching level 3 of the scouting career, and for reaching level 4. So level 3 to... to oh! Scouting manual by reaching level 2 in the scouting career. So basically you got a bunch of different things and I personally am in love with everything that we got. I kind of rushed through it so I can showcase everything that we got, but we got so many functional objects and uh, one of the most interesting things are holidays and the fact that you are going to have rain, sun, snow, puddles, snowman, gardening, Super impressed. I cannot wait to play with this more. So you guys, that is going to be everything for build and buy portion of this review. And also I am going to review holidays separately through my current household. So I cannot wait to uh, go through that and um, see what our holidays are going to bring to the game. So, uh, the holidays are going to be live at the same time as everything else, the first two videos, and uh, the, my uh, videos after uh, are going to be the new uh, Let's Play. I'm not going to uh, tell you anything about it, but I am super excited about it, and I'm hoping that it's going to last a little bit longer than my usual Let's Plays. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to post two parts today, so uh, keep an eye on that. That is going to be everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about uh, The Sims 4 Seasons. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. And I hope you're having an amazing day, amazing night, amazing morning, wherever you are in the world. And I'm going to talk to you guys in my next video. Bye! You're so